What's up guys, the Panthers here, and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. First of all guys, I kind of just want to apologise for a little mishap in yesterday's uh, video. Um, the video was titled, A Pack 3 Team of the Season, which I did, and, and on the thumbnail, I don't really check my thumbnails because my graphics guy sends them, there was a Marquisio on the front of the thumbnail. It should have been a bronze player, that is my, my mistake, um, and I apologise for that. I, like, I'm not into, like... You know, we've, we've had that whole video on clickbait and stuff. And whilst I still don't necessarily believe that that is clickbait per se, um, I, like, I'm not into that. And especially not on this channel. I want this to just be about the content and the Rose Glory. And I just want people to be here for being here. So I do apologise if that did, like, offend or anything any people. Like, it's, it's, you know, it's not my intention. Um, but anyway, moving on from that. Um, this is the team that we built here, guys. I went, I went through. I think we built it live on the last episode, actually. And um, I'm, you can see me here f adding a few contracts and fitness cards and stuff. And what I'm going to do at the end of this episode is give kind of a mini club tour. It's not live or anything, but I'm just going to run you through what I've got and stuff. But in the meantime, I thought, let's start going through the divisions. Let's start play, you know, making our way through. We won the game yesterday, which left us needing um, a fair few wins today. I did have one problem in this video, which I didn't put the, the, video, the, the footage in. Um, I, I went into a game and instantly the guy just quit. He didn't score an own goal or anything. So I lost contracts on a few of my players. Or I lost one one contract on all the players. And it, it ruined, like, the goal-to-game ratio of players because they get that one game, but, no, you know, you don't have a chance to score. But the first opponent we come up against has got a full French team and a really nice team at that. Ribéry, Niang, that right-wing Griezmann card, which is amazing. Matuidi, uh, Ben Arthur, who's phenomenal. His centre-backs are really good. And I thought, you know, this could be a relatively tough and difficult game. But things started off really well for us. Uh, we get a free kick here after just eight minutes. And... I don't really have a renowned free kick taker in the team, although James Rodriguez has got the best free kicks of the of you know of the team. And so I thought I'd give it a try. I haven't really tried his free kicks before, and that's put in an absolute banger. Um, the kind of the I don't necessarily like his free kick stance. Like I prefer like um, I prefer Ronaldo and Danny Alves free kick stance, even though I don't really score with Ronaldo. Um, but Griezmann has more of a, a run up. Um, like a, a, a less aggressive run up but uh, anyway we end up scoring the goal with Griezmann we also get a goal with our man Boya Baston he gets his second goal for the club um, you know he scored what I think he scored one goal for us or maybe he scored actually he scored two goals for us didn't he, he scored two goals for us um, in in the game yesterday in yesterday's video and this guy ends up rage quitting at half time I was all over him Navas there with man of the match performance at 8.4 um, but in, in general, it was quite dominant and I would have hopefully have gone on to score a few more goals. But we get the goal with Baston. I actually don't need this headset on. I've got nothing coming through my... I don't know what... I always I wear it because I talk in Skype and stuff. And then when I start recording, I never take it off. Um, but we got three points there, guys. So that puts us up to 13 points now, needing just two more wins to get the title. The next opponent we come up against has got a 4-3-3 team. Really nice team. Conor Plianka, Benzema, Bale, Dani Alves, Rakitic, James Rodriguez, Iniesta, PK and Godin. I did look at PK and Godin and think, you know what? Yeah, I like that. He's got a really slow midfield and a really slow defence. I can definitely take advantage of that. We've got a free kick again really early on after just nine minutes. To one, I'll give it to Hammers again. Boom, pops it in that top bin. A brilliant free kick. And we go 1-0 to the good after just nine minutes. So this isn't the most difficult of divisions. But it's still important to get the wins under your belt and make sure you get the points and get those coins. And we go through here with Borgia, a couple of ball rolls. That strength, man, just bodying off two defenders, gets into the box. A lovely fake shot, the finesse shot of dreams. His, I think he's got 90 finishing, and that showed right there because we put it in the back of the net. We go 2-0 to the good after 11 minutes, and Borgia Baston gets his fourth goal for the club which is great just a few minutes later we break clean through again Guile coming out with the ball uh, we get you know just this guy's defense is all over the place it goes into Hesse Hesse's got Borgia across the way wing lays it off to him he pops it in the back of the net again that I do believe is his fifth goal for the club and um, he's only played two and a half four games we get an extra game on him because of that other thing but we get another free kick guys after 30 minutes and what, what like what's going on the Hamed Rodriguez puts it in again he's three for three out of free kicks and um, he's genuinely amazing amazing like it's it's great to know that I could have James Rodriguez for free kicks because I didn't think he was a good free kick taker I thought he was an okay free kick taker but for some reason I've, I've like found a groove with him in the free kicks but anyway we can see the goal guys it comes back to 4-1 this guy's only got 10 men now we go clean through with Rakitic I tried to lay it off to Hesse to get the goal uh, he brings me down in the box and as I'm about to try and take the penalty uh, he actually ends up rage quitting I don't know why he hang on till this point like he like I, I went 4-0 up then he lost a man, then he scored a goal to make it 4-1, then he 
then he rage quit. It do doesn't make sense to me why you would do it in that order, but he seemed to have done it in that order. So we end up getting a 4-1 win, guys, which is obviously brilliant. And, uh, you know, I'll, t I'll, take, I'll take another three points, meaning we just need three more points now to win the division. And we went straight into it. Well, we didn't go straight into another game. What I did first, I've got a lot of consumables. Some of them are untradeable. Some of them are tradable. So in terms of the fitness cards, after adding that first contract on there to Hesse, I think I checked all the contracts for the players. I'm using, obviously, the bronze contracts first because I'll save the gold contracts for when I get players that... I know I'm never going to sell again. A lot of these players in this team, I'll, I'll be selling and buying over, you know, throughout time whilst I'm still trading up to the team that I really want to use. And we will eventually settle on one great team that we'll use constantly and then we'll build other teams for tournaments and stuff. So we added the contracts on. But for the fitness cards, I knew I had a few of this, the gold squad fitnesses that are untradeable and a few that are tradable. So what I did briefly was send a few of the tradable ones onto the transfer market. I'm not going to sell them now because their price will increase um, once uh, the initial kind of team of the season hype has died down and, and all these special packs have died out and stuff. And I don't, I just don't want to sell them. I'd, I'd genuinely rather hold on to them for two months and sell them for 1,200 coins than sell them now for 700 coins and lose out on that potential, uh, you know, that potential gain. And especially now whilst we don't need the coins. But what I did do, guys, is use a um, use a squad fitness on my main team because they're untradeable. It's not like I could do anything with them. I might as well make the most of them. And whilst we don't have a reserve team or a bench or whilst we're not playing offline, I end up putting the um, squad fitness on. And I came up against this team and I knew what this opponent was doing. He was relegating himself. And I only hoped that he scored an own goal before he quit the game so that I'd also get the three points, which would indicate us getting a title win. And that's exactly what he did do. And I was very grateful for that. Like, if you're the kind of guy that's relegating yourself, you know, I've, I've suggested to you guys that if you bounce between a couple of divisions, that'd be great. Um, if you are the kind of guy that's, like, relegating yourself, make sure to score the own goals. Give your opponent that free win. I promise you they'll be grateful for it. And um, if you don't, you're just a dick because you're wasting their contracts. Like, the first guy that I didn't put the footage in for did to me. I actually messaged the guy afterwards and said to him, like, you know, cheers for scoring the own goal. How are you getting on with relegating yourself? Like... Like, I guess naively and arrogantly assuming he knew who I was because I suggest to people to do this in between these two divisions. And um, he said he's never good enough to get out of Division 4. So what he does is he plays up to Division 4, relegates himself all the way down to Division 10 and then plays up to Division 4 again. And he said he's made over a million coins doing it this season and he barely plays the game. So if you don't care about your record, definitely, definitely relegate yourself, score the own goals play yourself back up to a comfortable division until you get to a division where you struggle and then relegate yourself again and do it again because the rewards you get, are, they, there's just so much coins that you can make. So we end up winning the title there, guys, with a 6-1-2 and two record. Now, I was noticing, I was looking at players um, to buy and to sell and looking at, like, you know, players that I want to use and stuff. And I noticed that drink water um, was very, very cheap. Uh, he was about 70,000, he was actually about 60,000 coins and he went to 70k. So I bought him and I bought Yota there. I bought Yota for 20,500 coins. I bought drink water for 89,000. And as I bought him, I noticed he was going extinct. And it, you'll, you'll look at the market, there's only three of them there. Now I sold him on for 140,000 coins, but unfortunately, you know that thing where you press the left trigger, it clears your whole trade pile? I accidentally cleared it before I recorded the footage. I was, I was only supposed to clear the bronze fitness cards out so that I could list some more and leave the important stuff on, but I accidentally clicked, clicked the left trigger. Um, what you see here as well, guys, is I cleared the whole club out. I got rid of all the bronze players, all the silver players, and uh, any golds that had value and were sellable. And the reason why I got rid of them now, I initially kept all the bronze players from the bronze pack, pack method because they were important for offline games. But I've got so many untradeable gold players now that I don't need the bronzes. They're not valuable to me anymore. So I listed the ones that would sell instantly for any... Like I had quite a few that sold for five, 600 coins, quite a few that sold for two, 300 coins. And I did this over the course of about 18 hours last night whilst I was like working and watching TV and just winding down. I was on the web app constantly, just keep relisting, relisting, relisting. But there was a lot of players that just didn't sell. So if a, if a player had like a lot of players on the market for 200 coins, I would just discard him. So I actually ended up discarding a whole bunch of bronze players. I completely like reduced everything that I had and you can see here, I've got a few players that are left on the market that I think will sell. Uh, that Leicester player and the, uh, the 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 left wing there, they will eventually sell. And then I'm just listing all the consumables that we stacked up from opening all these bronze packs. Because I know the coin total was 172,000, I think it says there. I can't see it perfectly because it's a bit blurry. But um, um, the 
fitness cards and stuff that I have, I have so many that I've actually got probably about still about 50 to 60,000 coins worth of consumables to sell. So all in all, we're still in mad profit, but because I'm holding those bronze fitness cards, because I've got so many bronze squad fitness cards from opening those bronze packs, once those bronze fitness cards hit about seven to 800 coins, I'll sell them all again because that puts me in profit for all those packs. I, I kind of like worked out what I needed to sell them at to make the profit back and it's about seven to 800 coins. So I sold drink water, I listed Jota and I saw his bast baston here. I bought him to 12,500 and his low bin was about 18, 19,000. So I listed him as well, trying to sell him for the simple fact that there is now a team of the season community tournament out for silver cards. And I thought, hey, if I can make six, 7,000 coins on this guy and have played five games with him and scored five goals, why the hell not? So we bought him for 12K. We ended up selling him for, I think, 17 and a half or 18,000 coins, maybe 17,000 coins, but we made profit on him regardless. Um, and it made me think about maybe I should potentially invest in a few bronzes for when the bronze community tournament comes out in a couple of days. So that, um, you know, if, if I buy the ones that I think might increase in price, even if they don't increase in price, worst case scenario, I'll lose tax. And I think the risk is worth it, especially after the fact that we made so much money off of that. Um, Who's that first midfielder that we bought and then sold straight away? We, we made like 20, 30K off of him. We made 5K off of Baston. We made 50, 60,000 or so coins off of um, drink water. And we've got a really good team and a few players to sell as well. But anyway, guys, this is going to be the end of the episode. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.